please think about the environment before you print this email. This message has been appearing on the emails of well-meaning people for years. Most people don't even notice it anymore. Not only do they not notice it, they don't even question its wisdom. But why don't they? Why do people assume that the simple act of putting an image on a piece of paper is harmful to the environment? We're going to take a look at some of the assumptions people have about the environmental aspects of printing and how that affects its place in the marketing mix. Myth 1. Paper is wasteful. Many of us have an unpleasant assumption about where wood comes from. We see a mental image of lumberjacks clear-cutting acre after acre of old-growth forest. We think of a rapidly depleted Amazon rainforest. We think of waste and destruction when we visualize logging. But that's not the reality. Virtually all paper manufactured in North America comes from wood harvested using sustainable forestry practices. The wood fibers come from well-managed forests, not tree farms or clear-cut. In addition, paper is an extremely reusable resource. The wood fibers that comprise paper are recyclable seven times before their cellular structure begins to break down, and 58% of all paper used in North America is recycled. More importantly, using paper actually leads to more trees. There are 1.5 billion trees planted in the United States every year, with half of those being planted by forestry and paper companies. That's more than 1.7 million trees every day. Forest acreage in North America is stable and has been for years. Myth 2. Printing is dirty. For much of the 20th century, printing was indeed a dirty and environmentally unfriendly process. Inks were petroleum-based. Printing presses relied on harsh solvents for printing and cleanup. The pre-press function relied on many rather dangerous chemicals, like cyanide. But those days are behind us. Today printing is a much cleaner process. At Unique Active, we've been using only vegetable oil-based inks for over 12 years. We've greatly reduced the use of solvents in our presses and take great pains when handling chemicals to reduce the emission of VOCs. Our all-digital pre-press workflow relies on clean, water-based chemistry. Myth 3. Electronic marketing is clean. Many marketers are shifting from printing to electronic marketing with a belief that somehow it's a much cleaner and environmentally friendly media. But that's not necessarily true. The growth of the internet has led to a significant increase in power consumption and toxic waste. Electronic equipment can contain significant amounts of toxic materials such as mercury, lead, cadmium, beryllium, and chromium. The vast majority of electronic equipment is not recycled but instead ends up in landfills. 70% of toxic waste in U.S. landfills is from discarded electronic equipment. An even bigger environmental impact is from electricity consumed to power and cool servers. Energy consumption at server farms has been increasing at a 24% annual rate. When you take those factors into account, electronic marketing isn't particularly greener than print. In fact, it can be a bit dirtier. Making a CD DVD produces 300 to 350 grams of CO2. Printing a 100 page four color annual report only produces 80 grams of CO2. A study in Sweden examined the environmental costs of reading a real newspaper compared to reading the same content online. The result? The online reader generated 35 kilograms of CO2 annually. The paper reader generated only 28 kilograms of CO2. So, what should you do? Virtually any kind of marketing communication is going to produce some kind of waste and affect the environment in some way. That doesn't mean we should all stop communicating with each other. But we should be responsible and take steps to lessen the impact of what we're doing. Here are a few tips to help make your print projects as environmentally friendly as possible. Choose the paper carefully. If possible, use paper made with a recycled content of at least 30%. Choose papers that are certified by a third-party sustainable forestry group, like FSC or SFI. Select papers that are certified total chlorine-free or process chlorine-free by the Chlorine-Free Products Association. Choose your printer carefully. Talk to your printer. Do they recycle all paper and aluminum waste? Are they using vegetable oil-based inks? Do they have a written environmental policy? Think about your piece and how you're going to use it. Will this brochure have a long shelf life, or is it something that will have to be revised soon? 
Will you have to be throwing away any remaining inventory? Do you need one large brochure, or would a few smaller ones be more effective? Is your mailing list up to date with bad addresses purged? Could you use one-to-one -one printing technology to create fewer but more targeted pieces? At Unique Active, we're passionate about helping our clients achieve their goals while also being kind to the environment. When you're planning your next print project, contact us to talk about ways to make it more sustainable. Thank you, and have a great day.